What is up, Mopar Maniacs? It's Wednesday. That means it's time for the Tommy's Toy Box Wednesday walkthrough. We're going to start outside today. Had a lot of new arrivals show up this week, so I'm going to make you guys wait for them. If you want to see the good stuff, well, I should say the new stuff, you're going to have to wait. All right, well, here we go. Let's start. Old Blue. 1969 Dodge W200 Power Wagon. 383 four speed, big block. Original paint. Runs and drives great. Nice old truck, man. This one came out of uh, Nebraska. It's got some rust in the rockers. X line sells the rockers. The rest of the truck's solid, man. It's a good old truck. All lights and gauges and everything work. It's fired up. Cold. I don't know if you can hear that that rattle or not. There's a, it's the muffler's got a crack in it. Lights. Yeah, if you're looking for a big block power wagon, it does have locking hubs under there. I just put the caps on there because I like how they look. If you don't like them, you can take them off. Uh, odometer reads 76,793. Mm, that's a tough call. I don't know if this truck has 176,000 on it, but you never know. I mean, normally 176, you got a little bit more wear on a steering wheel and the pedals and stuff like that. But um, yeah. All right, there you go. That's old blue. 12,500 for old blue. Next. Swamp Thing, 1971 Dodge W100 Power Wagon, short bed, 318, automatic, it's a venture package truck, pretty solid, pretty straight, a little bit of rust on the bottom of this door here, rockers are nice on this truck, same with the steps too. Got rust around the mount. It's not horrible. It's fired up. The fenders are nice. Cowl's nice. This rocker has one hole in it. Right there. The rest of the truck ain't bad. Ugh. Cold start. Yeah. 
some gauges all work. The only gauge that doesn't work is the gas gauge. Turn signal indicators. Uh, heater. Wipers. Yeah, wipers work. Needs a windshield. Runs, drives, shifts, stops. It's a good solid project. So I'm gonna cut the rust out of the bed rails. I have new bed rail tops there. Not new, but good ones. Um, yeah. 7,500 bucks on old swamp thing. She's super cool. Motor's pretty quiet. Super cool truck. Uh, 7,500 bucks. Next we got the 79 D100, two wheel drive, short bed. It's a rust free Arizona truck. Super clean. No rust. Slant six, four speed. No heater. Previous owner took the heater out. He was going to make it a drag truck, put a big block in it, but obviously didn't get around to it. So if you wanted to daily drive this, you just need to pick up a heater box out of another truck. Dent in the bed here. Oh. Yeah. sewing machine there just ticking away seventy five hundred bucks on the D100 seventy five hundred this is the uh, the seventy Seven, yeah, this is the 77 D100 that I had in the back. Uh, I'm gonna pull the motor on it. I just pushed it out here because had other stuff to do. But yeah, this is a 49,000 original miles, factory blue interior, original paint. It's gonna be a sweet truck. She gonna be sweet. So stay tuned for that one. And then we got the crew cab. You're going to have to pardon me. It's dirty. I've been driving it all week. Didn't have time to clean it today. But, uh, yeah. 1979 D200 crew cab. Adventure package. Uh, 360 automatic. Rust-free truck. Super clean. Nice interior. Back seat's perfect. A couple small tears on the driver's seat. Lights and gauges all work. This thing runs and drives so nice. Fires right up. Lights, gauges, heater, wiper, everything works. The only thing that doesn't work, I gotta put a radio in it. Uh, I have a radio, I just haven't put it in yet. But, um, really nice truck. Like I said, she's rust free. clean truck. These crew cabs are hard to find. It's 
original paint, H3C, Sundowner package stripes. 360, factory AC, truck AC is in op, but it's all there, complete. You got the emissions diagram, jack instructions, data plate. Um, I forget what the price was on this. I think it's 18.5. Yeah, 18.5 on a crew cab. I should probably show you the back and the other side, huh? Probably want to see that stuff. five on a crew cab let's go inside oh hello beautiful 1967 Plymouth Barracuda Formula S 383 four speed all original 80 88,000 original miles original paint I bought this off the original owner this is one of 1071 383 four speeds built in 67 this thing is so cool I love a survivor Oh, there she is. did change the camshaft, uh, but everything else is pretty much original. Original distributor, carburetor, radiator. Beautiful car. documentation original sales brochure copy the original title both build sheets and then look at all these receipts this is the original first oil change and then hey, all the work that was done at the dealer anytime it was under warranty all the way until 1970 how cool is that Forty-nine nine on the Barracuda. Look at these wheel wells. Look at that. Original paint. Yeah. Forty-nine nine. Now we got the Dodge City Dually. This is a nineteen seventy-eight D three hundred. Uh, original paint. 
factory 440 big block truck adventure package power steering power brakes AC factory AM FM CB radio I went through everything on this truck brakes tires suspension fuel system she is ready to go lights gauges everything works kind of torn on this seat no pun intended this is the original seat look at how good shape everything is on it except this one tear right here so I'm contemplating whether to recover the seat but then you lose that original material and nobody remakes that material so I think I'm gonna leave it the way it is and then if the buyer wants me to redo the seat I can get the seat redone it's uh, about 1900 bucks um, we'll obviously do something that looks factory but um, yeah, so I'm gonna leave that open to the buyer. New carpet, I mean, it's got the jump seats in the back. They're in excellent condition. Dome light. Really clean truck. Factory AC truck, AC is not working, it's all there. Really nice original truck. Oh, the mileage. This one was low. It was like 60 something. Uh, 58,000 original miles. Absolutely beautiful truck. I got the original title with this truck when I bought it. Uh, the original owner bought it in Dodge City, Kansas. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I have the trim piece. I'm just waiting on clips. truck uh, price um, I'll go 24.9 24.9 on it I think that's pretty fair price for an original paint club cab adventure big block dually 24.9 all right well, we got one well let's start with this one 1984 Dodge Ram Van, 250, 318, factory four speed on the floor. How cool is that? 61,000 original miles. Party lights, baby. <laughs> Everything works, lights, gauges. and original under the hood. Stock. Rust free. Beautiful black paint. Thing is super straight. Sliding side door. Hide your kids, hide your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Party's in town. Yeah, 
Yeah, she's cool. This thing, this thing drives so nice, shifts so nice. Beautiful. 19.5 on the van. Power windows, power door locks. I forgot to mention that. Super cool. One of our new arrivals, this is a 1978 Plymouth Trail Duster, original paint, 364 speed. Absolutely beautiful. Bought this off the original owner. Man, this thing runs like a rape tape, dude. This thing is so much fun to drive. Factory roll bar. Really cool truck. Seats need redone. She's a ripper. Up, oh, up. Oh. She's a cold blooded ripper. I just got this one in last week, so or this week I should say. So I still need to go through everything on it. I got the cowl. I gotta put the cowl and the wipers and the linkage back on. I gotta clean under the hood. She's dirty. Badass trail duster. Factory up dog dish hubcaps. Look at them. Those are rare. Got all the emblems on it. Check out how cool the roof turned out. That's awesome. I don't have a price on this one yet either because like I said, I haven't gone through it yet. So stay tuned for that. It'll probably be somewhere in the 20 range. 20, 21, 22, something. We'll see. Then we got another new arrival. This is a 1979 Dodge W200 power wagon, uh, 360 automatic truck, rust free. Has been repainted. It's old repaint on it. Hood's got some, I don't think the hood's going to come back. I tried hitting it and it's just wasn't taking it. So I don't know, I'll probably leave it as is. The grill and front bumper, they're all nice. Body's straight on it. It's got a new, rough, brand new Rough Country 4 inch lift on it. New exhaust. Really clean truck. She's solid. Beautiful interior. Fired up. Oops. Still got to finish buffing the paint. Uh, price, like I said, I still haven't, uh, still got some things I need to fix on it. It'll probably be in the same, you know, my usual ballpark that uh, 19, 20,000 range, something like that. So stay tuned for that. We got the 1984 W350 crew cab. Original paint, rust free, four wheel drive. This is a factory 364 speed truck. Original owner swapped the 360 out for a uh, steel crank 440. It's 
dealer installed AC. Um, I have the original order form and window sticker for the truck. Odometer reads 108.664. Everything works on it, lights and gauges. Absolutely beautiful truck inside and out. I went through this truck as well. Everything's everything's good to go. New tires, brakes, tune up. I'll show you under the hood. Original interior is in really nice shape. There's only one small tear right here. Back seat's perfect. Roof's perfect. No rust. Change his damn door seal and now the door don't want to shut. It's real tight. <sighs> really clean swap. Looks factory. New master cylinder. Beautiful truck. 34.5 on the crew cab. Show you underneath. Really, really nice. 34.5. This is another new arrival. This is a 77 D100. I haven't touched it yet. I did do a test spot on the paint, and that thing is gonna be sweet. Look at that, that's crazy. How crazy is that? Oh my God. Yeah, just a 318 automatic. Original paint. Check out the interior, original interior. That's cool, huh? Super cool. Yeah. Uh, no price on that. Uh, 95 Chevy G20 van. This thing, I know it's not a Mopar, but dude, how clean is this little bastard? Shorty with the windows. This thing is so cool. The cool thing about this van is it's a 95. This is the last year for this body style. So it's the old body style, but you pretty much get all the modern features. It's a 4.3 liter V6, 104,000 miles, and she is so cool. Rust free. Nice little van. Seventeen nine on the little Chevy. I don't want to call it Casper. That thing's so cool. I don't think I've ever seen a little shorty like that with them windows. That's neat. Seventeen nine. And then we got the uh, the crew cab back here, doing a little work on it. So somebody cut these fenders to open the wheel arch. I was not aware of that. Um, so we're fixing that. We're gonna make it right. We're gonna do it on both of them. So this one's coming out really nice. So yeah, that was, uh, I wasn't, didn't know that had that, but it's okay. We'll get her right, we'll get her back on the road. But yeah, this uh, 1964, W200 crew cab. It's factory, or factory. It's the original Air Force truck. Rust free. Look at them floors. Oh man, this thing is so much fun. Still got the original siren on it. Yeah, it was after its time in the Air Force, it was sold to the South Dakota Forestry Department. Yeah, she's super cool. So yeah, that'll be coming here soon. Price on that, I'll be about, I'm thinking 36, because it doesn't need anything else other than just fixing them fenders. So we'll do 36.5 on that. And then this is the trail duster that just showed up. Uh, 77 Plymouth trail duster, 360 automatic, rust free out of Arizona. It literally just showed up today. So 
haven't uh, had a chance to do anything with it yet. So I do have a, actually I have a deposit on this. I got a gentleman that has been wanting a trail duster for a long time and he said, Tommy, I want first shot on that. So he gave me a deposit and we'll see what happens. So, all right, that was a really long one. Sorry about that. We got a lot of new cool stuff. So I wanted to go over it. So thanks for watching. Uh, if anybody, if you guys see anything you like, feel free to give me a call, 330-729-5732. Tommy's Toy Box located in Struthers, Ohio. I do offer nationwide shipping and I can ship to Canada now too. So that's cool. Um, and uh, oh, and I also launched my new merchandise website. Boop, boop. So check it out. It's uh, toyboxmerch.net. And uh, all right, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, we'll see you next time. Take it easy.